Hello children! Today we are going to change our session a little bit. So if you are observing our videos, watching our videos, you might have observed that I do most of my read aloud in Hindi. So most of, uh, even most of our books were in Hindi, some of the books were in English. Uh, <clears throat> but even when the books are in English, I do a lot of Hindi in them. Uh, I speak a lot of Hindi, I explain a lot in Hindi. Uh, I, while I read aloud, I also say whatever comes in my mind uh, to you. But today, uh, there is a change, a shift in my read aloud. So this is also uh, a different sort of read aloud when I will mostly read what is written in the book and I might not add what comes into my mind. I might add a little bit itty bitty stuff but not much of it. Uh, it will be only the writer's words uh, and I will not be adding much from my side. So yeah that's it. I know for many of you it might be a little difficult to follow uh, the sort of English uh, which would be in the book uh, it, uh, because many of you who are watching uh, these videos might uh, be more comfortable in Hindi language uh, and that is why I use uh, most of it, most of Hindi uh, in my usual read alouds. But today let's do it a little bit different, let's challenge ourselves and listen uh, entire session in English, right? Cool. So today uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, the book is very funny book. Uh, it's also one of my personal favorites uh, and uh, it is a very different sort of uh, uh, read aloud, a uh, different sort of book uh, because it is very much based in sounds actually. You will hear a lot of sounds and I would ask you to read it back, like say it back. Uh, uh, when I say it, you, uh, you can repeat it if you like to repeat it because it's very much fun to repeat those sound words actually. Uh, yeah, so let's start today's read aloud. So today's uh, book uh, is called as Farmer Falgu Goes to the Market. So Farmer Falgu, you can see uh, there is a character here and there are a few animals. So and we can guess who is this Farmer Falgu. Perhaps this person is Farmer Falgu. So, Farmer Falgu Goes to the Market is written by Chitra Sundar and illustrated by Kanika Nayar. <clears throat> so, there is also a dedication here. Chitra Sundar, the writer of uh, this book, she has dedicated uh, this and she writes to my grandmother Kanika Vali, uh, sorry, Kanika Vali, who always believed her glass was half full. So this is a sort of dedication uh, which usually writers and illustrators, uh, they dedicate uh, their book to someone they really love or maybe they play some important part in their lives. Uh, yeah. So <clears throat> this book is first published in 2014. Uh, yeah. So let's start. Farmer Falgu goes to the market. And we can see here a lot of things. Perhaps these are things which farmer Falgu grows in his farm. It was market day. Farmer Falgu loaded his cart with baskets of tomatoes, sacks of onions, bags of chilies, bunches of corianders, white eggs, brown eggs and some duck eggs too. And then he set off to the market. So have a close look at Farmer Fargo and there are a lot of things here I can see. I can see lots and lots and lots of eggs here. At the back of Farmer Fargo I could see a lot of hens. Can you see all these hens behind Farmer Fargo? So how Farmer Fargo also looks very happy here. Maybe because it was the market day and he's going to market to perhaps sell all these, uh, all these things, a lot of things, tomatoes, onions, chilies, corianders, white eggs, brown eggs, duck eggs, a lot of things is going to sell today. The bullocks happily trotted down the road and you have to say it back to me, you have to say it like I say, trot, trot, trot. So these are the 
bullocks, bullocks which are trotting down the road. These in these bullock, uh, in this bullock cart, Farmer Falgu is keeping has kept all his stuff and perhaps going to the market. The road had potholes. Bunk, dunk. These are the sounds which uh, these bullocks make make because of the potholes on the road. The cart wobbled and rattled. The cart wobbled and rattled, and then the farmer Falgu shouted, "Stop! Stop!" Why did the farmer Falgu shouted, "Stop!" Because he turned and inspected his vegetables. The tomatoes were fine. The coriander looked comfortable. But what was that? Now you look at these eggs. What is happening to these eggs? Can you see cracks in the eggs? These white eggs are perhaps all cracked up. And he says, oh no, he cried. The white eggs were cracked. Now all the white eggs are cracked. Now when eggs are cracked, what do we do? Can we sell them? Would you buy a cracked egg and take it to your home? Would your mother be okay? Would your father be okay with all the cracked eggs you would buy and bring home? No, right? He examined the other baskets. Luckily, the brown eggs and the duck eggs were intact. Oh! At least the brown eggs and the duck eggs were safe. They're intact. You can also look at a lot of vegetables here. Perhaps tomatoes you can see. And perhaps these are the different eggs uh, which are uh, intact, which are uh, safe and not cracked. Farmer Falgu set off again. Trot, trot, trot. A family of ducks Cross the road. Quack, 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 quack. So this is the family of ducks. Or maybe this is the mama duck. And these are little small ducklings. These are small ducklings. And they are crossing the road. Now what would happen? A family of ducks cross the road. And they said, quack, 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 quack. Like that the ducks say, quack, quack. And then the farmer who shouted, whoa. Watch where you're going! Because perhaps these are these ducks are not minding their way. Uh, maybe they do some uh, they cause some problem to Farmer Fagu. But Mama Duck and little ducks wandered along slowly. The bullocks stopped. Suddenly the bullocks stopped. The cart rattled. The baskets toppled. The sacks slid down their perch. Bags of chilies and bunches of coriander were squashed under the onions. And because the cart rattled and suddenly it got stopped. And that is why all the chilies and the coriander were squashed under the onions. You see here lots and lots of Coriander being squashed under the onions. But are the eggs safe? Are the eggs intact? The white eggs are already pretty cracked up. Now, are the duck's eggs and the brown eggs are safe or not? Let's see, we'll find out. Oh, look at Farmer Falgu, look at his face. How big is his face? Oh, how cute he looks. Farmer Falgu jumped to catch the brown eggs as they slid down their perch. Now the brown eggs are falling and Farmer and Falgu jumped to catch them. Otherwise they will be all destroyed, all cracked. And then he says, oh no, he despaired. Now the brown eggs were cracked too. Now the brown eggs are gone. They are cracked. So they fell down. The market was still a few miles away. Farmer Falgu looked at his cart. He thought, hmm, well, I still have baskets of tomatoes, the sacks of onions, the bags of chilies, and many bunches of coriander. 
and I have the duck eggs too. At least I have a lot of things now. Uh, a lot of vegetables I have, tomatoes, onions, chilies, coriander, and at least the duck's eggs are safe. I can sell all these things, I can sell duck's eggs, a lot of things are there. So I can still go to the market. So farmer Falgu goes to the market. Go slow, he told his bullocks as he got back onto the cart. He picked up the basket of duck eggs and placed it on his lap. So look at Farmer Falgu. He's saying to his bullocks, Please bullocks, you need to go slow. Because otherwise, any accident might happen and all his duck eggs also might fall down or would be cracked up. Anything could happen. So he's keeping these eggs, I and mean, these are duck eggs, on his lap. Like a baby on his lap and protecting those eggs. These are the last eggs which are not cracked yet. The cart went past a family of goats. The cart went past a crowd of children. Farmer Falun checked the eggs. Everything was fine until everything is fine. Something's gonna happen. A big lorry sped past the bullock cart. The blaring, oh, 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 like that, a big lorry passed and it was honking loudly. These horns, you know, right? These lorry horns are really loud and they honk like, oh, oh, like that. And because of that honk, the bullocks veered down the road. Farmer Falu was thrown against the side. The duck's eggs fell on the top of the onions and thud. Oh no, wailed Farmer Falu. The duck eggs were cracked too. Oh no, look at the duck's eggs. The duck's eggs are also cracked. Now the hen's eggs are cracked. And the brown eggs are cracked. And the duck's eggs are also cracked. Now we don't have any more eggs which are perhaps not cracked. Now all the eggs are cracked. And what would Farmer Falgu do now? And he's saying, oh no, these eggs are also cracked. This might be so sad, no? Now all the eggs were cracked. The coriander was squashed. Even the coriander was squashed. The chilies were crushed. Farmer Falgu wondered if he should go back home. Should Farmer Falgu go back home? Everything he had, everything he brought from his home is all destroyed. In a sense, it all um, is not the same. Uh, the eggs are all cracked, the coriander is squashed, the chili is crushed. Now who would buy cracked eggs and squashed coriander and uh, crushed chilies? Uh, would you buy all that? I might not buy all that. Farmer Falu wondered if he should go back home. He thought, should I go back home now? Now I'll go and try my best, he decided. The market is not far away, but still he decided that the market is not far away and I must go to the market. But as soon as he reached the market, look at Farmer Fagu here, he looks really serious, he might be a little sad, but as soon as he reached the market, meh, meh, oh look at this, these goats come and they're saying, ma, ma. The goats try to eat his coriander. The goats are trying to eat coriander. Maybe they love coriander so much. Maybe they love green things, green leaves. The corianders are really, really, really green. And perhaps that is why they're trying to eat coriander. And then, oink, 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 the sound comes. And who comes? The pigs splashed mud over the car. Look at these pigs. Pigs are splashing a lot of mud over the car. 
I think this is Farmer Farhu's bad day so far, baddest day so far perhaps. Farmer Farhu looked around. There was only one thing to do now. So look at Farmer Farhu. What would he do now? These goats, they are eating up all the coriander. These pigs, they splashed mud over his cart. And now there's, is there anything much to do? What would Farmer Falgu do now? But he's saying there's only one thing to do. Now what is that one thing that Farmer Falgu could do? We will see when we turn over the page. He found his friend Kishan. Kishan, he called out. Do you have some pants I can borrow? And look at this. What is going on here in the picture? I could see a pan. And there's something going on here. Can you guess what would be this? What is going on here? So he said to Kishan, he asked to Kishan, Do you have some pans I can borrow? Pans? Like this. This is a pan. A frying pan, perhaps. Farmer Falhu fetched a fan, a pan, sorry, a pan from Kishan's shop. He lit up the stuff. Now there's a stuff. He lit up the stuff, sliced the onions, diced the tomatoes, and chopped the chilies. The pan sizzled on the stuff. And what is he trying to do? What is Farmer Falhu trying to do here? What he is doing? He is slicing up all the onions and dicing up all the tomatoes and then chopping all the chilies he has and then he's putting everything in the stir and then sizzling. Sizzling means it's a sort of sound when things fries up in the pan. Um, uh, then you get to hear that sound, sizzling sound, like tss, like that. It's called a sizzling sound. So the pan sizzled on the stuff. What does he make in that stuff? Oh, there's something happening in the town. A lot of people are smelling some stuff. What are they smelling, these people? They seem happy too. And they all uh, seem to be uh, attracted, uh, attracted to that smell. There's a, there's a smell wave here, you can see. A uh, uh, smell wave sort of thing. Crack! Farmer Falgu broke the cracked eggs and stirred. The eggs bubbled. The smell wafted through the street. Now Farmer Falgu has cracked open the egg and stirring all this egg, uh, whatever comes out of the egg. And the eggs bubbled. Now perhaps can you guess what is Farmer Fayu trying to do here? What is he cooking up? We'll see. And, and quickly, a long queue formed to eat Farmer Fayu's delicious omelette. Look here. This is a delicious omelette. We were all thinking what would happen to those cracked eggs, but Farmer Falu appears to be very bright and brilliant and smart. And he is making, he has cooked this yummy, delicious omelettes out of those eggs. And quickly a long queue formed to eat Farmer Falu's delicious omelettes. And the long queue, this is perhaps the long queue which is formed. People are standing one after another. A long queue has formed. They all want to eat. What do they want to eat? They all want Farmer Fargo's delicious omelettes made from the cracked eggs of hens and ducks and whatnot. And so Farmer Fargo goes to the market, ends here. And finally, Farmer Fayu was not sad because he is able to still cook something up and still sell uh, things in the market so he could earn. Uh, maybe a very bright idea it was uh, to use all those cracked up eggs uh, and uh, 
uh, and make something out of it, cook something out of it and uh, give it to people, uh, send it to people. Uh, brilliant idea by Farmer Falgu. So Farmer Falgu goes to the market. It's a fantastic uh, book. I must say uh, you should read this book on your own. Uh, if you have a copy of this or if you have a PDF version of this, please go and read it out uh, yourself. Like, and look at the sounds like cracked and say all this like the bullock cart runs and trot 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 uh, bum dung stop stop all these things you can uh, read it very loudly and gives you uh, it will give you so much of joy just saying it uh, yeah also farmer falgu uh, has a lot of different stories there are other stories called farmer falgu goes on a trip farmer falgu goes kite flying Farmer Falgu goes to Kumbh Mela. So all these these books, a uh, lot of books on Farmer Falgu. I think he's uh, sort of a hero here. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's all for today. Uh, uh, I know it might have been difficult for some of you uh, to uh, follow uh, the speed, uh, perhaps, which I have uh, used in this uh, video. Uh, also, pronunciation uh, I might have faltered in some of my pronunciations. Uh, also, uh, yeah, uh, but that's okay. We'll be uh, from tomorrow. We'll be continuing uh, in the way we have been doing. But we'll also do uh, some read alouds which would only be in one language, like uh, particularly in English only, or particularly in Hindi only. And some will be definitely bilingual uh, if we have English books and then we'll do bilingual, we'll explain in Hindi, we'll also speak much in Hindi. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Farmer Falu goes to the market. Fantastic book, lovely book, one of my favorites. Thank you for listening to this wonderful book. Bye bye for today.